everybody how y'all doing out there well today is sunday and i'm hoping that everybody out there is doing well as y'all can see i'm having a little lunch i'm having some chinese food <laughs> some people call it cat and dog but it is what it is but it's good to me so my husband you know um bought lunch yesterday and i ate half of it and i'm kind of letting you know i say something for today and when I tell you, the food, the next following day, is so good. It is so good. But I'm sitting here indulging in some kind of movie. When I, it's old. I mean, I love looking at old movies. I don't know about y'all, but me, I love looking at old movies like back in the 50s and the 60s. You know, it's very relaxing. There's no cussing and all that in it. Y'all feel where I'm coming from. I'm talking to the old school people. Also, what I want to do and what I'm going to be doing... Right now, y'all seen that little glitch. So I had to copy it and paste it over and over again because I didn't want to keep changing up video. But yeah, I'm smacking y'all. Can't hear me smacking, but baby, I am smacking. I'm trying to show y'all what I'm eating. They just didn't give me enough, enough meat, but I won't be going to that Chinese place anymore. Not here in Florida. And I'm going to let them know, y'all don't give out enough meat, baby. All that rice and broccoli, I love broccoli now. Don't get it twisted, but baby, you sure didn't believe in sharing your meat with nobody. But anyway, let me get ready to get into this video. I want to say a couple of things. Do y'all remember back in the days, like whatever age you are, you know, and I didn't, I'm not asking nobody to drop that age. I wouldn't dare ask nobody to do that because it's your business and we don't need to put it out there. You know, but me, I'm 55 years old, but on this here app, it's Snapchat. <clears throat> I look much older. But I remember when I was a little girl. And y'all drop y'all comments and tell me what y'all remember when y'all was, you know, a child growing up. You know, I had a great, great, great life. And it wasn't no electronics like it is now. And I'm going to say this here. Thank God it wasn't. Thank goodness it was not all this electronic stuff going on. I know y'all gonna say, well, that's a good thing that electronic had came a long way. Yes, it is. I'm not saying that it's not. But what I'm saying is, I'm glad that it wasn't invented at the time when I was little. You know, that's all I'm saying. Because all this bottled water and the water been tampered with and you gotta boil it. You know, just for it to get back on track. And what y'all can do, you know. Drop your comments and tell me, you know, when in your age rank, when you was a small child, did your mother and father, did anybody in your family boil water? Do y'all know, can y'all re recall water had to be boiled to drink because it was contaminated? You know, back then it wasn't a lot of bad storms like it is now, you know? We, I mean, when I was a little girl, we had storms, you know, we had hail, we had rain and all that, but mudslides and, and earthquake, uh, uh, volcano, you know, that's the stuff that happened over there on California end. But the weather wasn't like it is. The weather was seasoning. When it was time to be cold, it got cold. When it was time to be hot, it got hot. When it was time to be fall, it was fall. Now, these days, no. Mm -mm. No, and y'all know it. When it's supposed to be hot, <laughs> it's still cold or cool, you know? When it's time to be cold, it's still hot or warm. So the weather is so different due to the climate and, and, and due to, you know, astronauts going up there, tampering with stuff in space and putting stuff up in space it had really unbalanced the um weather climate i mean you know I, from what i heard you know always being you know it never snowed in florida but that little one time they got some snow you know that's it but other than that florida don't get snow if you move to florida just get ready and be prepared to not to have um snow snowflakes okay at all that's not going to happen not here in florida i'm telling you you're going to get cool 
It's, yeah, you're gonna have some cool mornings. Sometimes you're gonna have some cold mornings. Well, far as the snow, no. When it's cold in Georgia, it's still uh, pretty much warm here in Florida. You know? Do y'all remember drinking out the faucet, the rubber hose outside? Come on now. Y'all remember I said it once in my video um, that, that, that that when the TV go off, it's a wrap. You got to turn the TV off. Those are the, those are some good days. Now TV go on all day and all night. Run up your light bill. You know. You remember you can put a fan in the window and get that cool breeze. Your light bill wasn't so high, your gas bill wasn't so high, your water bill wasn't so high, rent wasn't so high. You know, everything has went up within time. It has. Sometimes I sit down and I reminisce about the 70s. Like I said, I'm 55 years old. And sometimes I just sit and I would just reminisce about when I first started school, you know, and, and then when I became much older, and I, you know, the fourth and the fifth grade and the sixth grade, I remember my mom going school shopping and putting stuff on layaway. My dad would get it out. You know, I remember those kind, those type of things. You know, some people still do it, and I don't get the game twisted. You know, people is falling on hard time, and especially single mothers. And and I'm not going to um, exclude my um, fathers out there. You got single fathers out there, y'all. We got to respect the game. You get what I'm saying? Because mothers don't want to be mothers no more. They want to be out there in the street and live their best life and neglect and forget about their children. And that's one thing that I'm going to mention. I also am going to do a video on that, too. You know, the, my guy friend live in Georgia. Um, he's pretty much raising, raising, he was raising two of his girls. But one of his girls, she's 16 years old, and she left and move to Wisconsin or somewhere, but that's a different story, and I am going to get into it. If I have to tell it tonight, I will be coming back with a video tonight, but you won't get it until um, Monday night, because I got some videos I got to do also, you know. I still got videos I got to upload that I have on my phone. But yeah, I want to salute to the um, single fathers out there, you know, husbands out there. That wife that, you know, have some of them, now let me rephrase that, okay? Some mothers have passed away and the father, you know, have to raise the children by himself. He, you know, have a support team. Please go on, B. Go on, B. Go on, go on. There's a B, y'all. I'm sitting outside. And yeah, some mothers have passed on and the father is left to take care of the kids, you know? And some of them cannot take care of the kids. They just pass them along to family members, you know, probably her family members, you know, if it's not the grandmother, and I'm going to speak on that also, but anyway, yeah, being a single parent is not easy, especially if you're not a, a bringing home six or seventy thousand dollar home, you know, a year, your income is barely making it to where you can survive, it really is. And my heart goes out to anyone, you know, that's having these babies now and they need a support team and they don't have it. Some of them is living in their cars, you know, living in shelters and stuff like that until their um, a, a program is able to place them in the, um, an apartment or, a, a, you know, a home or whatever, you know. I just wish that the government... Well, go around and open up, you know, buy some land and put homes there for families or build more housing authority, you know? And I guess y'all say, well, no, because we'll be stuck paying for it. Well, I feel where you're coming from when you say that, when you feel like that too, and I feel like that also. But my thing is, and I know, that I'm not the only one feel like this or nor am I the only one that thinking like this. If you're building housing authority, I feel like that the person that's going to be living there, we're gonna uh, first we're gonna say, no, I can't even say that. I was gonna say the mother, the mother and the father. But just say for instance, let me throw something out there. If you got a single mother, she had she has a housing authority. 
I think that she should be required to do at least 20 to 30 hours at a job. It should be a program to help people get jobs. I mean, Walmart always hired. You got different places hired. And yes, it is. You can go to uh, Salvation Army and get on their website, and they help you get jobs. But that's not guaranteed, y'all. That's, that's not guaranteed. But we got billions of dollars and billions and billions and trillions of dollars. You know, and, and the rich want to stay rich. They don't want to help the poor, you know. They don't want to help the poor, and it's so sad. Now, I'm not going to be out here much more long. I'm sitting out here, and these ants is, is just so terrible. <laughs> they are so terrible. When you, and when you see a lot of ants, it's going to be a cold-ass winter. So that's what I always heard. It's going to be a cold-ass winter. I don't know. Is it true or not? It could be false. Y'all drop your comments and tell me if you see, like, ants is just everywhere. And, and, and yeah, ants are trying to survive, too, you know? But uh, I always told you, when you see a lot of ants, it's going to be a very cold, 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 cold winter. But to me, cold winter just going to come either off, whether you see ants, it's rats, roaches, snakes, lizards, whatever. But anyway, um, the government needs to um, extend some help. You got people living in neighborhoods that, that's, that's really not the best. But they surviving the best way they can. You got abandoned houses. They need to take time out. Especially like, and I'm, I'm going to say this here. Since I'm from Georgia, like Macon, Georgia. You have a lot of abandoned homes in there. You know, and homeless people not sleeping in them. But you do have people that, how can I say it with YouTube? Not saying, hey, okay, you can't say that. You know, people, some things are happening to people in they put them in their abandoned apartments, abandoned buildings and stuff like that. You know, the answers know they are crawling on me. Tell down those abandoned buildings, like in Chicago, you know, other, other states, Texas, you know, where it used to be a nice community back in the 70s. Y'all know those communities because y'all have them as well. You know, back in the 60s and the 70s when, um, they was building those houses, and, 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 and it was a nice neighborhood at the time. But people have um, people have grown, have got better jobs, and they move out the community. So now it's the low budget community when it used to be like a subdivision. Yeah, that that type, that type. We got a subdivision in in my hometown where it was um, teachers and people that worked on the base. And it was a subdivision. It wasn't gated in, but it was a big community where a lot of um, white people stayed that was making good money. And black people barely can live in that area. It was a popular area, you know. It's on the south side. And then you got some on the north side of Warner Robins, Georgia. You, you feel where I'm coming from? So, you know, that's my thing. So now, since... Everybody don't move that, that don't, you know, make income has went up a whole lot. They're retired and all that. They don't move that that area. They don't move that farther, like towards Fagel Mill, Byron, Bonnell, Centerville. Y'all not familiar with those places, you know. I'm just naming them, you know. But they don't move that that far, you know, on the outskirts of Warner Robins. You know, but they used to live in those communities at one time back in the 60s and the 70s, but no longer live there. Also, let me say this here. Y'all can see where I said, um, drink your H2O, please. I got my cash out. Say subscribe, like, and comment. You know, hit the notification, and pretty soon I will be at 7K as well. I'm trying. You know, I'm almost at 4, I know. You know, but it's, it's not easy out here on this sector. If you're not talking about drama or you're cursing somebody out, and I jumped out subject, but if you're not cursing somebody out or in somebody's business or doxing somebody, these YouTube people don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear about uh, positive things or whatever. They just want to hear about what goes on uh, in YouTube with other people, 
bashing one another, taking sides, being on teams. I support you, you support me. You know, and I see a lot of YouTube people coming out here saying, hey, I'm neutral. Uh, I'm not in it just because you fall out with somebody that don't make me going to fall out with someone. And that's true. And I love what they're saying. And, and I think that's very, very respectful. I think that's very, very respectful that people are starting to see what's going on out here, open up their eyes, and and they feel like that they can't support you because uh, that person may get mad. It's not about that. YouTube should have never. Well, we can, I can't even blame YouTube. I blame the people that's in these sectors that feel like that. Hey, I'm supporting such and such, but you can't. So you know, y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all feel where I'm coming from. I, you you used to support these two people, but now these two people don't feel like. So now you feel like you may have to make a choice on who you want to go with, and it shouldn't be like that. And sometimes these sectors get uh, 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 um, get a little perturbed with their supporters if they support the ops, you know? And it, it just should not be like that. You should be able to support whoever you want to support and keep them moving. Just don't even comment. Just support them. Because if you comment and somebody see it and they know that you're supporting the other person, don't think that they ain't going to email them or they ain't going to let them know, hey, you know, I'm going to say, just throw out a now, you know, I'm going to say, uh, Tree Sky Mountain said that uh, you was wrong for doing such, such, such. You know, even though you won't express your opinion in your, in your uh, uh, sector, say, hey, drop your comments and tell me what you think or let's talk about it. But somebody gonna run and tell something you don't type in the other in the other person live videos whatever or however they gonna go back and tell it then it's gonna start stirring up the pot and the shit gonna stink you feel where I'm coming from you know so it, it I don't even know what to say it just shouldn't be like that. I support a lot of these ladies out here, and you know, some of the guys as well. And they don't fill out with, with one person or whatever that I still support. And I just go in there and I listen to I listen to their live, I look at the video or whatever. And in the back of my mind, I'm just saying, wow, that's it and that's all. I don't be dropping no comments, I don't be texting or whatever, and I damn sure don't be in the bushes. You know, here and there I will. But the chances are, no. Nah, mm -mm. The chances are I don't. Dang, no dog just talking. Being so disrespectful. You know, animals can be disrespectful too, you know. But yeah, um, a lot of people starting to say, hey, pump it, you know. I'm going to continue to su you know, support this person. Even though you guys feel like that's your fight, not mine. I'm not in the middle of it. And that is how it should be. It should be like that. And I wish I would have, you know, learned that from the beginning when I first came out here on YouTube. But I didn't, but couldn't. I wish, I, I really wish I would have. No lie. No lie. But yeah, you guys, it's, it's Florida. I'm about to talk about something in Florida. is in an um, index of um, temperature going to be very high. So we have to be on the lookout and be careful out here. And uh, make sure we drink plenty of water and stay in the house and all that good stuff, you know. Be careful. We have to be careful out here. Not just us in Florida, but people in Texas and other places, you know, Dallas, New York, wherever it's hot at. We have to be very, very careful. So I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I want to say live, love, laugh, laugh, love, live. Peace, love, and happiness to each and every one out here. Y'all stay in the house because it's hot. If you didn't do what you need to do in the morning, just save it for another day. <laughs> but be careful out there. And I'm all going to say I'm out of here. My time is running out. I'm only going to be here for 20 minutes and a couple seconds. You know, I don't like to be out here too much longer. I like to keep moving because I got reels to watch. I mean, do make sure y'all watch my reels and my shorts as well. Not only that, please do me a favor. Watch my old videos from 2016, but don't judge me because, like I said, I was just getting started out here on YouTube streets. And, um, you know, sometimes when you don't know no better, you got to do better, <laughs> you know. So, 
I'm doing better. But like I said, those are all videos. Don't forget to sub. Thank you. I'm out. Peace.